Hi all, I thought I should mention a resource I've been working on which really works well with the videos that you are seeing on the Kings Crusher channel. So this is actually, if you go to chessmold.net, go to the improved menu and puzzle books, it's underneath puzzles, puzzle books, it's a new feature. And for example, the recent game video has 28 kind of virtual variation puzzles. So if we click on that, and we're well, clicking on any, on any part of the line, and then click uh, Start Puzzles. It's unrated at the moment. Uh, so this was one of the variations. What does white do here? Does white accept structural damage? Uh, so if you play D3, it's it's going to be the wrong move. It will tell you it's it's not the correct move. So actually, it was Knight E2. Then black actually immediately threatens F2, so you defend that. And then you challenge that knight. And in fact, you sack a pawn. So it's a good revision test, and you take here because of that little tactic. So it's checking that you, yeah, it's good revision on that tactic. It will say congrats, and you can go to the next puzzle in the puzzle book. So here, uh, it's actually a knight retreat. Uh, if you took on c6, you'd be getting pawns to the center. Uh, so it's and these variations are all you know from Stockfish 10 actually analysis so it wasn't e6 here but this could have been a tested variation it's the only to keep equality so this this I thought was a critical test of the variation at some point but you know black uh, is doing uh, quite well here so if you take care and then try and protect the pawn you're only reaching equality so it's not a very inspiring objective here because this is not really the way to go this is not how Leela played uh, the position I think g3 is important to do something with that bishop so if we go to the next uh, kind of variation puzzle here um, on h5 there is uh, an interesting little finesse in the position that actually the h6 square is weakened which stockfish picks up on for actually getting a small advantage with queen d2 to be able to go to h6 and uh, in this way it's actually quite good for white so there's that variation so you can see all the variations I actually mentioned in uh, the video uh, are being tested here and here it's uh, from black's perspective so to keep equality uh, it was actually to guard h6 first and then uh, I think it was maybe taking here let's check that no maybe it was knight f8 to protect g6 yes it's critical to protect g6 but black can yeah by being very careful here can keep a quality uh, let's see e6 all right this is a tricky one which I think I've kind of forgotten actually uh, totally uh, the variation it wasn't king f7 and it wasn't a queen move anywhere so I, I'm going to give up uh, so it was actually okay queen d7 it is logical for f5 yeah to be able to challenge the queen with f5 so let's go on to the next one so some of these you might not be that turned on by the uh, the goal slight advantage here in this variation with bishop e7 uh, this might have been achieved with queen h5 and queen here and then queen goes back nope around here and I think f4 now because white's ready to take on here and open that f file uh, so here white's play for a clear advantage sometimes by the way uh, stockfish is a change changing its mind in uh, in analysis it's, you have to leave it quite a while to actually uh, when you, when you do analyze with stockfish, so the the variations they might not be absolute one hundred percent, you know, very very uh, deep analysis, but that they are quite interesting, uh, at least to sort of make sure you you understood some of the ideas on them. So white's play for a clear advantage here. Uh, it could have been h four. And maybe actually, I think it was just taking here. Nope. <laughs> taking here I think yeah oh this this is a like really interesting line where it, it turns out that uh, I think rook h3 white yeah because the kings in the center even this line is actually a clear advantage to white so okay clear advantage here check mm, interesting is it bishop d3 I think 
or maybe bishop g5 here and now winning the queen yeah so there's interesting little finesses in the positions which are being picked up on in these variations uh bishop d3 again bishop g5 in this particular circumstance mm. h4 Mm, I think I'll give up on that one. I'll oh, knight e2 to go to f4, yeah, for e6 here. Yes. And if you wanted to, like, try again, you, actually, you just do a refresh. So, like, so knight e2, yeah, you can just do a refresh. Um, mm. Oh, actually, knight f4, because if it takes, yeah, knight g6, I remember it now. <laughs> Uh, I think one of the ideas coming up, um, yeah, C3 maybe. Come on, let's think about the position itself. Queen F6 picking up the rook. But if we pick up the rook here, there's Bishop B4 check. So I believe C3 now. Uh, and now if the bishop's interrupting E6, yeah, it is actually a really, it was a really tactical opening sacrifice um, so some very very interesting finesses in the position can we I wonder if okay this oh no no the most crushing is e takes actually yes the most crushing and if here then that's ridiculous because yeah we can win the queen okay uh, next I think we just because there's no check here I think we can just safely take that rook uh, I think here yeah, Bishop d3 to be able to evict the Queen oh not Bishop g5 I wonder if we can just take the rook here this is just a slight advantage it was just demonstrating a slight advantage I think we can evict the queen out of there and then play bishop g5. No, not bishop g5. Queen h4 is much better. You don't have to sacrifice the bishop here to win the piece back. So this is going to be good. Uh, clear advantage. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, bishop g5. Take the rook. Slight advantage. Uh, could try bishop g5. Take the rug. Think. 92. Console. Okay, so I'm remembering some of the variations myself, which I obviously I should do if I'm the one that created them in the first place. Uh, so white to play for a clear advantage. Bishop g5. Queen takes clear advantage. I mean, we take the rook and knight e2. Bring the queen back somewhere. Maybe f4 then. F4. Open up that f file to get the rook to f7 potentially. Um, bishop h7 to win g7. No, oh, f4 for f5, nope. knight e2 for knight f4. That's the wrong idea. Hmm, ah, oh, hang on. No, it's just the check, actually. It's just the check, isn't it? Because if king 8, bishop g6, I think the check here, maybe f4. Oh, that looked good for a moment. Hmm. Ninety two. Well, don't, feel free to give up though. These are you know these are not totally like clear cut puzzles. Just give up. This is a a complicated one. We can just navigate through it to see if there was any interesting ideas. Uh, in fact, yeah, it's very very tricky. There was this uh, idea of eventually playing for Bishop G six. So it's just yeah, it's it's not entirely clear cut. Uh, this one clear advantage. I think we just take here 
and I think we can nab on e6 here. Uh, <laughs> oh, bishop g6. I remember this now. Queen e8 was the threat, and now I wonder. <laughs> Check. Oh, I think then we can drag the pawn, and it's quite destructive here. I think we can do this for this check, and then take here. Okay, so here White play for a clear advantage. Queen takes. Queen takes. Nope. F four. What about Bishop G six? Is that any good? Yes, and then take here. Or F four. Mm. Might have to give up this one. What to do here? What to do here? So it's not taking the pawn. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, just rook ad1. Okay, it's a bit arbitrary. Ad1, it seems a bit arbitrary. Uh, knight takes e5. I think. Take here. Oh, there's knight f7. I think, okay, we take that then. Hit the queen. f4. Queen g3, maybe. All right, that goes to c7, yeah. The, with the king in the center, yeah, there's a lot of uh, little finesses. Uh, I think we can play for f4 here. I think this was the idea to rip open the king. And eventually take that. Okay, so um, white's play for a clear advantage. Ah, uh, maybe just take, and we can do this at leisure. I think I mentioned. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> here I think. Can we not just take the rook? Yeah, simple one there. Ah, uh, now here was. Uh, I think knight e5 was dangerous. Oh, knight f7 check, folks. <laughs> of course. Uh, knight e5 again. Okay, we can play knight f7. I think, the, the, but the objective here is black gets mated. And I think we can do that in a slightly different way. I think there was a waiting move that I mentioned, which actually get, delivers a checkmate instead. Uh, now this might not be your cup of tea. These are not like standard chess puzzles, clear cut. You know, there's, there's it's really a more of a variation reminder of some of the variations we covered uh, in in the related video, basically. Uh, so the objectives aren't that harsh, and so that's quite different. You know, usually your, your basic puzzles, are, you know, big, huge advantages, winning material or mating usually. Um, okay, so knight e5. G five now. Ah, uh, oh, yes, that's fra that threatens. That's gonna. That's gonna checkmate. Oh, that's there's two choices of checkmate actually. Okay, find the right one. Knight f seven. Yeah, th I know that that should be branched. Uh, and so here, there's two ways of checkmating. So either knight f7 or rook h7, it, it shows either way there. So there's 28 there, but um, there's also, if you want a less arbitrary uh, puzzle book, yeah, as I say, this is a new feature I'm kind of working on uh, as a sort of variation reminder, but uh, there's also one for Queen's Gambit Acceptor Traps. So you might actually want to check out the video again, which was, it was a hit video at the time, and many people were reporting, you know, scalping people 300 points higher with this uh, Queen's Gambit accepted traps video. Uh, I'll need to actually I'll, I need to sort that out there. Okay, uh, from bedding, but you can find it on you can watch it on YouTube. Anyway, if it, if it ever comes up, the message, just watch it on YouTube anyway. Okay, but here, um, yeah, this was far less arbitrary. only five very, very selected for a bit of opening training d4 this Queen's Gambit so called Queen's Gambit with e3 and blacks trying to Cling on the pawn, uh, cling on to the pawn a bit too much, so you're going to undermine it. And the most clinical move is actually Queen F3 here. Um, sorry, 
not here because bishop c6 you play knight c3 now queen here and now rook takes a6 and this wins the house off the check 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 and you pick up that so it wins the house um and here uh, i'm recommending knight c3 if black plays knight c6 bang win a piece very nice uh, so these, you know, so these variations are based on that video. Take here the point is that pawn's pinned. So yeah, some more basic puzzles here. Uh, here we've got, I think, uh, again, queen f3, that loose rook on a8. Uh, here, uh, let's see. Again, we've, we're transposing into the other line. Queen f3 is the real killer move there because the rook takes and queen takes. And then we take the rook, not the knight. It's tempting to take the knight, but we can actually take the rook with check and then come back and take the knight. So there's a little you know puzzle book there, traps you might want to check out. So there's all improved puzzle books. So I'll be adding some, you know, it's it's a new feature. There's a lot of game videos which might be interesting to add. If we stretch like my brain back to the Stockfish eight L C zero game we covered uh very recently. Uh and so that one's you can you can play it there or you can uh let's let's see do we remember any of these variations uh um black to play that test the entire game let's go on to the next puzzle so that one's really if you want to check the entire game now white's playing keep equality in this line this is a fashion variation actually knight takes b5 uh because black is too dangerous for black to have taken there we can bring the knight back and here okay and then you can see we're, we're getting some some revision on those variations i think we need to support the pawn or not uh maybe queen g5 intriguing what to do here <laughs> f3 I think I'm going to give up here. Don't don't worry about using the give up button. <laughs> okay, uh, it was Rook A E one R to play maybe F three. There, there are some really uh, powerful ideas here actually expressed by that because uh, the knight yeah F three is pretty powerful. I think this move. So you you get the idea that you can you can check all the variations when you when you see a video, maybe check uh, in a few hours after the video. I'll definitely be. Uh, trying to put these puzzle books up um so let's go back to uh so to get to the puzzle books either menu or just go here and then puzzle books so i hope that's interesting form of training uh, accompaniment to the videos uh that you might want to try out and this this is so uh so when i prepare the videos um we have a lot of variations implied and you might want to test after so that's why this resource i think is quite interesting okay check it out please let me know what you think thanks very much